who is also this country's Lord High Admiral, and we have been granted the privilege today to fly the Lord High Admiral's flag, which we think is the first time this has been flown here in London. It was meant to be at the, at, at the, at the truck of the foremast, but unfortunately some seagull scarers, uh, little spikes were put on the top of the mast, and we had this great fear that the Lord High Admiral's flag would become impaled on these seagull scarers, which wouldn't have endeared us to the palace forever. <laughs> Our exhibition is about the Battle of the Atlantic and the heroic part played by the Merchant Navy and the Royal Navy and other navies protecting and sailing in our convoys. For these reasons, it is also a pleasure to have with us the representatives of the High Commission from Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, and the Naval Attaché from the United States of America, who as allies at sea helped win the Battle of the Atlantic. Why the old HMS Wellington? She's the only floating naval vessel which saw active service and support of convoys all the way through the Second World War, supporting some 76 convoys in the Atlantic. With her Royal Navy hull, which is still largely original, now under the ownership of the Wellington Trust, she is also the home to the Honourable Company of Master Mariners. The Wellington therefore represents that historical bond between the two services, between the Royal Navy and the Merchant Navy. The Royal Navy hull, I like to think, with the Merchant Navy inside it being protected. In February this year, the Prime Minister finally agreed presentation of the Arctic stuff to those veterans of the Royal and Merchant Navies still able to wear them. I know they do this with enormous pride for a job well done. We have two Arctic stars here, and I will ask His Royal Highness if he can present the first one to Commander James Wyatt. <laughs> 